So hello and welcome to this uh, quick Adobe Anime tutorial and uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, add child uh, from the library. And it means that uh, uh, I'm going to show you how you can put things to the stage uh, directly from the library. And this is going to be a short video and I have created a longer video about this topic. So uh, if you want to know more information, I'm going to put the link uh, in the description. So this one is going to be really short. So I'm in, I'm in the Adobe Animate and I will go with 800 by 800, but you can choose whatever uh, numbers. And I want this to be HTML5 canvas and I will just hit uh, create. So right now uh, I am going to get a rectangle tool and I can get maybe a blue color like so. And I'm going to create a shape like this and I'm holding shift to stay proportional. I will get a text tool and I will get the white color and I'm just going to type something like uh, page one, for example. Now I'm going to maybe scale this text a little bit like so and I'm going to align it to the center. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to align it to the center uh, like, uh, like so. And now I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit F8 or you can go to the modify convert to symbol and uh, right now I want this to be a movie clip and I can go ahead and put that uh, a name but this name is not important for us right now but I can call it to be uh, page one for example and I will click OK. Uh, now if I go to the library, in the library I'm going to have this uh, page one. But uh, this name has nothing to do with the JavaScript. And here there is this uh, linkage. Uh, if you have this uh, like uh, like so, you will have to extend this little bit uh, like so. Uh, but in here you have this linkage. And if I'm going to double click, this is going to give me an option to put some name. And I can uh, call this uh, to be page one, the same as a movie clip. Uh, but I'm going to for now uh, put a different name. I'm going to put the name my page one. So you are not going to get confused uh, which name is important because this one is. And I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to select it, Control C, like so. And now what I'm going to do, uh, if I'm going to hit Control Enter, uh, I'm going to have this uh, like so. Uh, but uh, I don't want to get it like this, so I will click on this one and I'm going to delete it. So right now uh, my uh, my stage is empty and if I hit Control Enter, I'm not going to have anything in here. And uh, one thing that uh, I would like to do is uh, I'm going to click anywhere and I will change the color of the stage to some color. So basically if I'm going to hit Control Enter, I'm going to see the border of my canvas. And now uh, I am going to write the code. So I will, uh, I have layer one, but the layer one is empty because we have deleted the graphic and I'm going to right click. I will choose action and I can go ahead and type something like this. Uh, dot add the add child uh, parenthesis. And uh, in this parenthesis, we are going to write something like new, uh, then space, lib, like a library dot and the name that we have created so my page one and then a parenthesis like uh, if you would have a function so uh, this add child then uh, the parenthesis and inside of the parenthesis new space uh, lib as a library dot uh, the name of the movie clip that we want to get or the button and then the, the parentheses and semi columns are optional. And right now, if I'm going to hit control enter, it is going to add me uh, this like so, but it is going to add me uh, this uh, in the in this place. Uh, now what I could do it, uh, is uh, I can put this uh, to the variable. So I can go ahead and type uh, let uh, page one, for example, is going to be equal to new lib dot uh, my page one and uh, parentheses like so. So you can see that uh, I have created the variable. Uh, you can use uh, var, but I'm going to be using let. That's just the, the new way of declaring variables. Uh, but you can see that I have page one, which is new lib uh, my page one and like this. And it is the same as we have in here. So what I can do right now is I can get rid of it like so. So I have this as a variable page one and I can uh, later on uh, put uh, this at child page one like so and if I'm going to hit control enter I'm going to have, have it like so uh, one thing uh, is uh, if I'm going to hit F9 to get back to the code if I'm going to comment out this code uh, this add child and I'm going to have only let page one is new uh, library my page one this is not going to add me anything to the stage I'm just uh, uh, declaring some kind of variable and I will have to use this uh, with uh, this add child 
uh, in order to this uh, to work. And right now with this page one, I could go ahead and put something like page one x is going to be 200 uh, page one uh, y is going to be 200 and i'm going to hit control enter and i'm going to position it like so uh, and uh, yeah and then i could go ahead and maybe uh, put also page one uh, alpha is going to be uh, 0 0.5 and and so on and uh, let me page uh, page one yeah like so uh, Okay, and uh, you can also go ahead and put an even listener, so you could write uh, page one, uh, add even listener, click and so on, or uh, whatever. And uh, if you want to remove something uh, from the from the stage, uh, you can very simply write uh, this, uh, remove uh, child, and then we are going to we are going to remove this. So I'm going to very simply copy this page one, control C, and I'm going to paste it in here, control V. And if I'm going to hit control enter, we are not going to have anything. And if, if I hit, hit 12L, F12, I can see that I don't have any error. So yeah, uh, basically this is it. This was uh, just very quick tutorial uh, about this. And if you want to know more information about this, uh, I'm going to provide the, a link in the description uh, for the tutorial. But uh, the tutorial I'm going to upload in a few days. So if you watch this the first day that I upload this video, there won't be a link, but uh, the video will be there in a few days. So yeah, thank you very much uh, for watching. If you uh, if you have uh, any question or whatever, you can put it in the comments. And yeah, uh, hopefully I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.